Hi everyone, this year the theme for the figure、um, is gathering. And as you notice, that this year's passcode for the website also is gather. And I would like you to、um, look at one short video. And、um, it's kind of interesting what Chinese word、um, gathers meaning. Meaning to getting attention with the ear, like you can see, there's a words that meaning ear. Okay,、um, let me write this down here for you. So this is the ear, and this here is a hand. So hand is trying to、um, get attention, get attention、ear. of the the people that will be listening. And understanding, and then here is about three people. So here's one, two, three. So with that idea,、um, I feel that it's important for us to thinking about for、um, communicate with each others. Okay. So for this assignment, I would like you to write down a list of gatherings with your family and friends. School activities or other support, sports or musical events, and who is going to be there and where, and what are they gathered for? So we want you to start gathering pictures or photos. Take photos as your references for this project. Our inspiration is going to be through three types of artists. First, we're going to use Japanese prints for an artist named Jack Potter, or a American artist also by the name of Zoe Frank. Yeah, you need to have at least two people in your composition, and your artwork need to show patterns. So on this one here, I would like you to emphasize on the patterns. And so the pattern can be used as a background, or on the figure like the clothing, or both.、Um, but if you're going to use both,、um, it has a little bit more challenge. So maybe advanced B or the portfolio student can、um, develop a little bit more of the composition and the pieces. Okay, we're going to start looking at Japanese woodprint was heavily influenced. Um, to the impressionists, you can see here Claude Monet. His water lily garden was one of the example by using the composition of Japanese woodcut. It's very rare to see that、uh, the composition of the landscape was designed into a very flat surface.、Um, If you remember, we used we talk about the foreground, middle ground, and background on the Western art history. And here you can see that Monet is more emphasized on the two-dimensional space being divided by this arch here. This is also another example that our artist names. James Whistler, and he also using this composition into his painting. You can see the arch right here, and also there's a boat with a person right here. Yeah, Whistler was an American-born artist.、Uh, 
uh, but a post-impressionist, but was highly influenced by Japanese woodprints as well. And so we're going to see that in some of his even strokes or techniques that he used to almost copy Japanese calligraphy or kind of like Chinese writing. Wow, yeah, you can definitely see that. It's almost look like a Japanese letter there too, right? Marika says she's also using the subject. As you can see the Japanese woodprint here, there's a mother is holding a child with the background that has um, some of the drawing on the wall. And here Marika said is using um, the picture frame right here and instead of just leaving a blank she has that yellow coat um, couch, couch uh, that they are sitting and in. it's almost like she's copying that di diagonal line through the hair mm -hmm. like this the part right picture here picture of the wooden back frame of the couch mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. although you don't see that japanese um, patterns on the america sets maybe because the clothing they um, their clothing doesn't have that much pattern, but you can definitely see that um, the composition on the background, the picture frame is also there. Mm -hmm. So our next painting is also by Mary Cassette, but here we do see more of the involvement of the pattern mm -hmm. and the uh, inspiration being communication, like you've mentioned, and gathering. So here she's gathering or, or communicating by writing letters. Yes. I really like how Marie Cassel was be able to capture that personal tender moment into her painting. And you can see this right here also is kind of rare that uh, we have this almost like a table, table and cloth, closet table. Mm -hmm. It appears very flat, but in the same time, um, very interesting how she used the pattern as the Japanese uh, wood printers. Again, here is a different concept or different gathering uh, appear on the Japanese wood print. And then mm. the background is like a landscape. Landscape and we see the diagonal or the line going through the, mm -hmm. breaking through the center of the film cutting the different landscapes into different sections. And then this painting is also by James McNeil Whistler. Again, so he's influenced by that woodcut pattern and the thing. So here it's almost like his paintings have become the strokes or communication. Uh, he's incorporated the umbrella, which would be very common also in Japanese mm -hmm. prints as well, and mm -hmm. being at the beach. Mm -hmm. And I almost feel like the figure compositions is also very similar with the Japanese woodcut as well. Yeah, and you can almost feel the flow of the wind from their clothing. Mm -hmm. And here you can see that the um, almost like like a Japanese window that the bridge was also using in his artwork. And here is. Uh, the wood prints by a Japanese um, artist. Again, kind of flat. Mm -hmm. I, I, I really think this is a new way of um, the first time when the the artists in in the Europe or in the Western to see this type of art, they must be excited, but also like in the art to know without the perspective or without um, the illusion of making space. Here, Japanese is really coping that two-dimensional space and make it work as, um, as much as they could. You can see the, the door here and the shadow shape is actually from the different door. And there's two conversation here, but in the same time, you cannot help to wonder what is in the background, what's going on in the background. Um, a and very so, beautiful setting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the opening of the door almost invites you to the outdoor and mm -hmm. see the garden. 
yeah, or see the the, the different room and the activity, and um, they almost have, kind of give you a peek, and you wonder that what are those two ladies talking and their conversation as well, and it seems like inside has a lot of thing going on, but those two ladies still re remember it relaxing and calm at the same time. And here we have again, Marie Cassette is adopting that rectangular um, kind of window frame, a door frame, a window frame right there again. Yeah, and it's interesting that these are impressionist and post-impressionist artists who usually use very bright colors. Whereas we can see that the colors are more muted, kind of like the Japanese mm -hmm. woodprint as well. Yes, uh-huh. Here's a more composition, and I I always interesting. I look at each um, the face where they uh, tour to. They seems like having a conversation, and those three seems like uh, looking out the page, and there's something going on, observing something is happening on the outside of the picture frame. And here you have the bamboo leaf is kind of wrapping around it as well. more. Um, the reason I picked this um, painting here so you can see that the similar, uh, very similar idea was um, the composition. You have someone is standing up straight and verse that they are sitting down on the table and you have something Something diagonal going across to uh -huh. connect the two sides. Yeah, and this pose it was framing this artist here looking out the landscape. It's almost like has its own picture frame here and another picture frame right here. So um, this slide will be available for you to use. You can um, copy the composition and recreate the pose. So meaning that you can repose that uh, posing of the figure and draw your own um, clothing, but try to create has some pattern in your clothing as well. And I really like how um, this picture here is you are above and looking down. And we can see that a lot of rectangular has been repeated over and over again. And with all this um, shape is really framing that main character. The um, vertical line is pointing down to here and your eyes is travel through um, her face and then looking on to this gentleman here that is hiding behind the plants. Yeah, and you kind of have the connecting colors of the red mm -hmm. with his red lips and then her red handkerchief. So another artist that we'd like to talk about is Jack Potter, who was an American artist uh, who actually taught at uh, Los Angeles, the Art Academy, Art, art Center. And here you can see that Jack is using, again, the pattern appears to be very flat. And the figure here um, is a very neutral kind of colors the, without too much pattern, but the most of the pattern was all focused on the background. And here's another one. This is a woodcut, meaning it's a print, not a painting. And you can see the pattern, um, not necessarily on the clothing, but everything around it. And he also used uh, monochromatic colors um, to make the figure standing out more by using the same. And here again, you can see that Japanese wood cuts, uh, wood prints that we are showing you earlier was the two people was in front of the window having conversation. And here the artist is giving that little peek with what's going on on the other room. And this one right here, I thought was interesting how 
um, this was divided into almost four sessions, but each rectangular shape was not equally divided. And it seems like each one here has its own boundary. And they are trying to having a conversation. So it's almost each one is a window, but it's connected or gathered through the conversation that they must be having. Mm -hmm. And you can kind of tell that they, their eyes is also looking down here. And at first I was looking at this chair, I thought it was empty, but no, there is a, a pet yeah. that was sitting there. And how often uh, we start a conversation by um, talking about, talking about the pet. Have in common. Yeah, something we have to comment or something is not too personal to start a conversation. So. And here's another um, example of using that, uh, again, the Japanese kind of door, like dividing the, um, the interests of the background. And again, you have a conversation going on. And if you look closer, um, this gentleman, they are playing car, and this gentleman is actually showing the audience that what kind of card that he has. So it's almost like he's inviting you into the game to participate with him. Yeah, and the way that she's looking at us, it seems like she is also inviting, also interesting at, um, at us as well. Yeah, do you think she's asking us if we'll tell her the card? <laughs> yeah, it could be. Yeah. And it's also interesting that there has a four bottles, right? And then we'll have three people there. And you wonder, where is that person? And that could be you as the audience to join for this conversation. So the next artist uh, Mary is going to talk about, but she is an American artist that is alive today. And how um, she uses the patterns that are frequently seen in Japanese wood prints as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can see again, a rectangular shape is being repeated over and over again as a pattern, even on the floor right here. So this, um, the setting, it could be very um, at home. Okay, it doesn't have to be somewhere like very fancy. It could be just in your kitchen or in your bedroom. And just try to find that composition that work for you. And also the people that at home and what they're doing and what kind of conversation that they having or sometimes it's no conversation but you still feel connected or not connected to the person as well i am interesting to see how you deliver the your experience through this um, this assignment and this is our final assignment or our last assignment of the year and I do want you to thinking about how is art and how is your work that really affecting your life and also how you deliver your story through your artwork. So and the theme of gathering is a good one as we end our year, as we, the pandemic seems to be ending and the masks are being removed mm -hmm. so we can gather together again and uh, communicate, catch each other's ear. And find out what's been going on. Oh. Well, I hope you will have fun on this assignment and also that um, working at home, thinking about the story that you want to write and you want to tell through your painting, gather the photo and gather the pictures that either you repost it or just look through your album in a cell phone to see any capture um, that you can take, uh, any photo that you can capture to work for this um, project. Thank you very much. And I hope that you will have a fun to finish this year's project.